What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Not this project I picked up. This thing has been sitting since 2017. I picked it up cheap. Now there is not a lick of rust on this truck anywhere. It's got a little dent there, I think that'll pop out. It has a little bit of damage in the door right there. I think I can find another one. This is a pretty common color. I think it'll clean up pretty good too. The inside's in pretty good shape. Seats aren't torn up, it's dirty. It smells musty because it's been sitting. Now this does have the ZQ8 package, which means it's got the, uh, I think these are 17 inch wheels, 16 inch wheels. It's got big old rear sway bar. It's factory lowered a little bit, which is ZQ8, it's a handling package. And this one has a 4.3 liter V6. It's an automatic and a pause track. But the reason why it was so cheap was because it had some rats chew up some wiring. So we're gonna start working on that and see if we can't get it to do something. So I robbed the battery out of Trusty Rusty. Go over here and toss it in this S10 or Sonoma and uh, see if it does anything. All right, so I threw the battery in it. Let's see if it even has any lights or... Oh, we got a door dinger and a light there. Well, we got dash lights. Well, that's a good sign. Guess I'll try uh, fixing this wire and seeing if it's got any spark. I'm just gonna do a little twisty thing real quick. Don't worry, I will fix it right. But let's see if I can get it to hit off of some starting fluid or something. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know if it's got any gas in it. It may start. Well, I don't even know if it's got any spark. what these two wires go to i can't find anywhere where they was plugged into but i don't know it'll turn over it's just not wanting to fire all right so digging into this thing of these three wires by the coil um i found a online diagram and i've got those twisted together i found this one broken i'm not sure what it goes to but i gotta fix that one the fuel pump's not kicking on. These went to a blind connector and I'm, I'm not sure. It was something like this. So I'm trying to figure out what that went to. And then I have this connector. It was down here on the firewall and there's a bunch of chewed up wires here. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I hate rats. Rats are useless, but we're getting there. We did get it to crank now, so that's a plus well, i have a crank no start situation and i can't get the fuel pump's not turning on but i did find this wire just kind of hanging out down there i don't know what it goes to but i guess i gotta figure that out so 
so it's a black wire with a white stripe and there is a ton of black wires with a white stripe so yeah that doesn't help me well i was vacuuming up some rat crap down there and i realized that there is a bunch of rat crap under there so we're gonna unhook the battery and pull up that fuse box this scares me so good news no chewed up wires under there everything looks pretty good actually so i guess we'll keep looking got the bed off the sonoma a little ingenuity my cherry picker and a lot of luck there's four bed bolts on each side and the wiring to the bumper but after getting it off looking at it all these wires are like melted together for this so we're gonna pull apart and see if we can do some wiring figure that out all right so i fixed those wires but i still don't have no fuel pump so let's see what happens if we turn the key on all right so we have power to the fuel pump just no fuel pump so that means the fuel pump's bad i'll have to get one ordered while we're waiting on the fuel pump to come in i ran to the local you pull it and uh i got the connectors i found this this connector that i was trying to figure out what it was and i also found this one so i do a little bit of wiring see if we can't fix some of this stuff and i just went ahead and got a new pigtail for that too so get started fixing that all right so that's wired back up that was pretty easy got that one wired up and that's actually the ground for the horn figured that out because well the horn works now um change that pigtail it's factory now uh just gotta reloom that and we're good to go all right so after a little bit of unconventional body work with the rubber mallet and stuff that uh that dent turned out pretty good and i took the door panel off worked on this door some it's getting better it ain't gonna be perfect i did find one at the junkyard that's i think it's the same color but i don't know i think i'm gonna mess with it somebody else can when they buy it hopefully throw the fuel pump in it get this thing detailed and it will be for sale well i figured since i got the bed off i'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash all this back here then i'm gonna get the punisher car ready because i'm gonna race it tomorrow so this thing's been sitting since uh 2017 under a tree Difference. Oh, that's just from using the pressure washer, not even any soap or nothing. This little truck's going to clean up nice. Frame cleaned up good, got all the crap around the gas tank. Hopefully that fuel pump shows up and uh, get this thing running. Definitely gonna be a nice little driver for somebody. All right, so this is the fuel pump out of the Sonoma. There's the pickup, as you can see, it just broke, but it had some of the nastiest crap in the tank. It was actually red smelled like varnish so yep i definitely think that was the fuel pump issue so this is what was in the tank as you can see it's nasty 
All right, so I got the fuel pump in it, all the wiring fixed. It'll start off of starting fluid, but it will not start off of the key. So I guess my next step is to pull that spider injection out and see if it's plugged up. We have fuel pressure, we have fuel pressure cranking. So now the next step is we're gonna replace that spider injector set up, got some new gaskets. Let's get this thing torn apart. We're gonna start by taking off this uh, air filter hat thing. I don't know what the proper term is, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So I'm gonna plug these sensors. Tilt it. Let me see. Tilt it forward. There. That's out of the way. Now we're going to unhook coils. And. You don't have to take the uh, throttle body off. Let's see here. A little clip on that. You can see, you can see right there, there's a little clip. You gotta pull that clip off. Maybe. Then you gotta unplug every connector you see. Uh, let's see here. And it looks like there's a bunch. And then basically all the 10 millimeter bolts surrounding it. So. so we're just gonna set this straw bracket out of the way. And then it's basically just unplug every connector you see. Looks like a
And then there's this little evap canister of some sort. Anybody knows what that's for? Oh, God, that's what I was afraid of. That's going to be bad. I'm going to try to do this without taking that radiator hose off. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I think that's all the bolts out of it. Now I gotta take this fuel line off. So now there's two bolt, two nuts that hold the fuel line on. They're eight millimeter. Once those are off, you can pop your fuel line up and then you should be able to pull this upper intake off. However, one thing I am going to do, get my shop back, vacuum all that up. Otherwise, that ends up down in your engine. And we're trying to fix stuff, not cause more issues. That's cleaned up. Let's pull this. Let's see if we can pop this fuel line out of here. Trying not to get splashed in the freaking eyes with gasoline. This is a little bracket that holds that fuel line down, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that up out of the way. Oh. 
bless America. This is the spider injection setup right here. This is it. A huge pain in the butt and like the worst design for fuel injection GM ever had. All right, to remove these from the injector holes, you just squeeze these little pieces and pull them out. Now, they should be marked on them, which, uh, let's see here. Yeah, here they are, cylinder number, you know, Two four six, so that's the even side. Now, well, since the gasket kit came with new throttle body gaskets and stuff, I went in and pulled the throttle body off, cleaned it up, cleaned this surface up pretty good with some brake clean, and we're going to put that gasket back in there and put it back together. Got all the new gaskets, got everything cleaned up, the spider's in there, I double check, make sure all those are locked down in place. Now we're going to put this, well, I'm going to grab razor blade real quick, clean up that surface, then we'll put it on there. Tip, make sure when you're cleaning this, you just use your razor blade, scrape towards the outside of the intake. That way, nut. Thank God I had a magnet handy. Anyway... I retrieved the bat back out of there. Like I said, just scrape to the outside. You're just wanting to clean up this mating surface and keep the debris out of the engine. All right, here it is, it runs. That was a pain in the butt, but it runs. Well, it runs. Actually it runs pretty smooth. Yeah, there you have it. Now it's just now it's just time to detail it. That's it. We bought it cheap. Brought it back to life. Gonna do a lot of cleaning on it. Change the oil and all that stuff inside of it's disgusting i'm going to clean it up some but then i'm going to have it detailed so there you go there's the little sonoma project put the tailgate back on put the bed liner back in it i did take it to the car wash and washed it and i vacuumed it out some got a lot of the dog hair out of it been driving it around this is a smooth driving little truck I don't want to keep it now, but off to the next one, I suppose. There you go.